there are multiple videos of people disassembling these but there aren't really many reassembling them again or at least not that I've found um, this is a well it's a broken series 5 you know I wouldn't I mean generally I don't mind doing this stuff that's working but I really don't give too many cares to this particular model so uh, and of course I don't have a stand for the micro uh, camera to be overhead so I'm afraid it's stuck with this and that box down there if you're wondering that's nothing that's just a box of some headphones so the first thing you need is this is this in focus yeah it's in focus is this so this is what you need that's a track now Ooh, technology um so what you need is not that uh, <laughs> let's get this down this is rusty and uh repair broke from the corner that's what this is um the first thing you need which you shouldn't touch this by the way nor this because of fingerprints uh so i just plop that in there put this in here are you in focus i'm just focusing on my hand good put this in here um and this backlight is gone this this entire five is just almost beyond repair um then you want the screen which actually which i don't think they show you in other videos these screens are different they're different to uh, layers so if you don't know much about screens you've got the lcd which is what this is of panel then you have the touch layer um which is what this this is here i believe uh let's see yeah that's all that is and then you've got the glass or in this case it's some sort of plastic let's move this out of the way so i don't keep soldering it um and the nice thing about these is I mean, of course, you've got a backlight. These are reflective. So if I, if I just get my phone, uh, and then I, so this, this actually, top tip, uh, a, a good way of seeing if your MacBook is working, because the, uh, because of course the backlight it shines through the Apple logo on the back. Uh, you can see whether whether your laptop's working or not by just shining a light through the Apple logo um, and then uh, you know if it's if it's on uh, then you know your computer's working fine and you've just got either uh, a broken cable to the backlight or in true Mac fashion the uh, the pin the pins bent from the backlight so if you take it to a genie ooh, bar um and they say oh no we'll need to replace the motherboard and we'll need to replace the screen so you might as well buy a new computer tell them not well, just tell them to sod off get get some screwdrivers proprietary which apple invented those by the way unscrew it you know plug the backlight back in or whatever needs doing bingo you're done anyway apple rant and uh right to repair over that's done <laughs> So this slides into here. You've got to be careful. Well, you've got to be careful with this. I don't. Um, so this, what will happen is because, of course, these also, they're somewhat, as you're told, they're somewhat um, bent inward uh, to give it some willy to hold it in place. So once you've got that in, just slide um, and make sure to keep it straight. A good thing to do once it's past halfway, like this is now, is just use finger and thumb and just slide it in. Uh, and then, and then, bingo. 
Now that's in place. So, now this is something that isn't sewn or I haven't seen sewn at all. I'll have to try and get an angle of this out. So to get these in and out, what you have to do, and I believe you have to use this corner. This is going to be so difficult on this. So, uh, let's see, can you see this? So you hook it in there at an angle. Focus, thank you. Uh, so once you have that in, um, then uh, you can twist it, twist it round, and now it's in. Um, then for the other side, you've got to do pretty much the same. But I'm going to have to do this out of, out of, uh, just ignore me for a sec. Right. See, you've going to focus on me. Yep, good. I just... You don't have to um, treat these springs uh, delicately. Um, it's the plastic you have to be wary of. Um, which I suppose, yeah, I mean, the hinges do break. That's a problem. Well, the plastic clips. There we go. Click and it's in. Um, they do break so easily. How? Uh, it really likes focusing on that motherboard, doesn't it? Focus on me. Now is time for the keyboard. I'm still nudging the microphone, this is amazing. There you go. So, just do as I said before, slide it in. Uh, and now, now this is the other very interesting part, these springs. So they're going to want to go underneath, you can't let them go underneath. See this? Uh, however underneath. This is where they want to be. They've got to be on here, but don't clip them in yet. Um, uh, you could if you wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend it because you need to line these up um, and then then you can. So now this is together Get your pins for the other one, which is broken, yay. Okay, in. Now, now that's in. To hook these on, if you could focus on, I'm, I'm going to move this motherboard. Put that over there, right, now, if this camera will behave, uh, the best way of doing this is to hook this in here and then it will just click in. So, so instead of trying to hook this on and pull this around, just push it underneath. Push it underneath, uh, and then it will hook on by itself. Um, now that's done, you've got the motherboard. Now the, this goes in here. Um, now the something you've got to be aware of when you do do this is that mind the mind the micro switches here and this one you know is so it knows when the when it's um open or closed and this one is for uh so it knows when the the door which for the cf is open uh so when you when you do this um it's not really a problem not really a problem with Siren 5s, 
but with Series 3 devices, you do have to be careful because they don't use micro switches and they can break very easily. Um, now, what, what you would normally do is when it's like this, you would um, plug the, the keyboard, which goes in here, and the screen, which goes in here, but I'm not doing that uh, because this is effectively just a throwaway device at this point. Um, however, these two, backlight and the cable protector, which ironically doesn't stop the cable from breaking like Series 5 have a huge habit of doing, uh, that just starts in here. Um, now you screw it in. So I'm going to get a screwdriver. I only have two screws for this. The other screws are elsewhere in a working Series 5, which ironically uh, I ended up taking parts from this, uh, namely the screen um, and other other things. You don't want it, you don't want it, because it really you should be using a jewelry screwdriver. Uh, so with these what I do is I just gently gently uh, screw it in until it doesn't want to go any further and then I just unscrew it by 60, 90 degrees and then that's done. Um, let's go in here, the screen and Scion loved these connectors which you have to use. See, people exclaim on the fact that I have long nails and not usually this long but that reason is because I'm always messing around with hardware and unlike some people who view nails as a fashion accessory apparently I view nails I view nails as see I just made a mistake then of not properly opening this to put this in um, I view nails as a tool not as a fashion accessory or as something disgusting like some people do. Um, this one lifts up and you can just push that in. Uh, now you're, well, pretty much done. Now this, this is broken. Uh, can you, can you even see? You should be able to see it. I can, I can well zoom in. Um, but this here, I don't know what these are called. Is it a diode? Is it, is it a resistor? But this is missing one. There are symbols on them, but I need a magnifying glass. Uh, and it, yeah, this doesn't work. Uh, I haven't tested the motherboard itself, but what am I talking about? These are just, yeah. These, if you drop a Series 5, uh, on on worn out ones, these clips can get very loose. So if you drop one on, say, a hard floor, or as I did once, uh, tiles, flagstone, um, it will make an awful noise. Likelihood is nothing will break, um, but these can pop out. So you just take the back off, pop it back in, works. Now you need these. And something else, uh, something else with these that you've got to look out for is, well, first of all, have this closed. Uh, and you probably want this open so you can see in case you need to do that. These, these, these here, uh, these slide in, well, pretty much clip in actually. Um, so you need to make sure First of all, it is the right way around. You need to make sure that it goes in straight. Uh, otherwise, the worst you could do is snap these off. Um, so this is this is a fiddly job. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, and there are multiple things going on here. Basically, you've just got to feel. It's like computer building. Uh, in general, you've got to feel the machine and feel what's going on 
the tension is in the plastic, the part's metal, um, and I can already feel without seeing that this is getting caught. So I'm going to take a look in here. Actually, this is causing trouble. You've just got to work it in uh, and uh, try and work out what's getting caught. If anything's getting caught, you know, um, do that's in. But what's going on over here? This here, which came out, this slides in. This battery, it slides in there. Uh, so this, in theory, should just slide on now. Yep. And it's on. I'll just get back. And to open the door. Which won't open. There we go. Open the door. And you see here. Come on. There we go. Can you see here? When I move this, that going in and out. So there's a reason why you want it out because you could snap, snap the thing off on the motherboard, uh, and you want you want this open. So you want it open. Slide in through here. And ideally, ideally what you want to do is work, work it round. And actually this has gone on, which is very rare. First time without any problems. Let me just close this now if you want. Uh, you, you've got uh, three screws, one there, one there, and one there. And the battery door, another, another tip, the battery door, if this is stiff, which a lot of them are, which you'll find battery doors with uh, a crack in them from people yanking this open, as you can see. Uh, so what you, what you should do is unclip it, two thumbs, And that's it. Now, these are from a 5MX back, and I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. And, and a bit of a hinge.